All right, so so we want to start very simple, um, just to get the the juices flowing before we get into the science. So um, just a couple of softball questions that really don't have anything to do with the the episode. Um, Jenny, where if you had the choice between a museum and a hike, what would you prefer, and where would you go? Oh, definitely hike. Okay, um, hike on a mountain um, because it's cold here. A hike on a warm mountain. Somewhere. <laughs> I think I'd like to, yeah. Preferably the tropics. Yeah, maybe. Or Laos, something oh, like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Dan, your pick? Yeah, same. I quite like cold mountains. I live quite near a cold mountain. There's a very cold mountain. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Yeah, hike any day of the week. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'd rather be right, outside. Here's, here's, here's one more. So if you could bring back any scientist and have a beer with him or her, who would it be? Oh, and, and we're talking for all time here, so... Just because the topic we're on, do you want me to get <laughs> got one? I, I, I've got one. <laughs> you go first. Then. Let, let, let's hear it. And I and I have to confess, I'm not 100 percent sure that he was a research scientist and not mm. just a science communicator, but Carl Sagan, mm. Mm. I think, who I just memories of my childhood and um, yeah, just for for wonder of of space. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So what, what was it as a science communicator? What was it when you were younger that had such an impression on you? Something that he said Honestly, or is it Cosmos or what was it? Oh, I just, he looked so much like my dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so not, and, not see, my kids wouldn't say he, that. <laughs> that wouldn't be an inspiration <laughs> for them. <laughs> yeah. No, no. He's, he's really accessible, isn't he? Mm. I think he was. Yeah, and very quotable. Yeah, I think I'm I'm veering more towards the something quite immediate, and that we're just we're doing quite a lot of thinking about uh, evolution of aging and stuff like that at the moment. I think uh, I find it incredibly useful to be able to talk to uh, people like George Williams and Bill Hamilton mm. because uh, we really mm. don't understand. There's a kind of, those two classic <laughs> papers that they wrote. We're having some real trouble with them. <laughs> And I don't think there's any mileage in some of the conversations people are having without access to the authors. Uh, they just—it's just some things you cannot get from the text. You could only work out exactly what they were on about from uh, right. from discussion. So that, that would be Excellent. useful. That's a good. I don't know what they were like. I don't know whether they'd be. Uh, some of Bill Hamilton was quite entertaining. So. Yeah. 